Hey guys, I put some political yard signs in front of my house. So first we have Jack Perry, and I've had this one for a long time. Um, he's actually an independent running. Um, see, this is the, see we look here, this is like all the democratic, um, you know, people running for town council and planning and zoning and water commissioner, all that stuff. Um, for each party, they all have their own design. So, like, this the, this is the Democratic one. I'll get to this sign soon. Um, like, you can see my neighbor also has the same design, you know, for Caleb Coles. See how it's the same design where the Democratic Party has this? But Jack Perry is an independent, so um, he has to make his own signs. But he actually owns a business, so, he, you know, he's able to. He has printing stuff. Um, he owns, like, he owns the garbage cans and dumpsters that the town has and stuff. And yeah, he's really cool. He's why I support him um, is this. He's a business owner. And, you know, of course, um, that wouldn't really um, appeal to me as much, you know, initially, um, because that means he is conservative and he is a little conservative. But he does have progressive policies. He is a business owner. And I do think that he is the only candidate who will truly help Southington business. I truly think that he is the only town council candidate who would do, um, who would, you know, make the Southington, Connecticut economy better. But um, he doesn't just focus on economy. He focuses on human rights. What's cool about him is this. So, as I said, he's running as an, as an independent, but he has been endorsed by the Southington Democratic Town Committee. So he's basically a Democrat, but he's running as an independent. His reason? Um, so he doesn't be, feel pressured to vote on party lines, which I like. But as I was saying, you know, he is a little conservative because he... Um, because he is a business owner, but he does have these progressive human rights policies as well. I think Jack Perry would be a great um, town council member, and he uh, has a big chance of winning. Next up is Nathan Wright. Um, so this guy is um, running for planning and zoning. You know, the, he's a Democrat running for planning and zoning, um, and I'll tell you why I support him. Um, in one second, though. Um, so, just to show you that how Jack or Nathan might, he might not win, but he has a chance. Um, he, like, no one knows who he is. He has no name recognition. Jack Perry has name recognition. Everyone in Southington has a connection to Jack Perry, actually, because, you know, garbage cans and stuff, he owns all of those. So, everyone does have a connection to him. He has name recognition, but Nathan Wright does not. Here is my example. On Facebook, I went on Nathan's right Facebook page. I joined his group or whatever yesterday. I was the first one ever. He had zero members. I was his first member on his Facebook page. While Jack Perry has 3.1 thousand members. 3.1 thousand while Nathan Wright has one, which is me. But why am I, why am I supporting Nathan Wright for planning and zoning commission? Um, well, he stopped at by our house actually he was door you know he went he was going to door to door and um yeah he was going door to door and he came to our house because my mom is a registered democrat so yeah he came to our house and he asked us if uh he if we wanted a yard sign you know like order a yard sign so they could drop it off later and he was just really nice he was just a really nice guy and you know he's very genuine he was kind of funny and, like, I don't know. He was just nice. So, Nathan Wright for Planning and Zoning Commission. Jack Perry for Town Council. Oh, yeah. Actually, you know, Caleb Coles, even though he's a Democrat, I'm not supporting him. You know why? He's from New Britain, an enemy town in Connecticut. It's like, how could you, how could someone from New Britain be running for Southington Town Council? Mm, don't vote Caleb Coles. Vote Nathan Wright. And Jack Perry.